Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Nimbatus with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to the second episode in the season, which is being recorded straight after the first. Well, I've just edited the first down, started the render process, and then realized something. I have two really good ideas, or at least potentially good ideas, which I just have to test out. So this may be a bit of a simpler episode than the rest, might be a bit short, who knows? But either way, I think it's going to be a lot of fun, especially, there we go, if the mission is to destroy something. So, hello there new drone, we're making yet another new drone today. So to begin with, once again I want this thing to be able to stay stable, but we're not actually going to control this. This drone is going to stay near the Nimbatus and send out missiles over and over and over again, and that's its entire purpose. So the factories will be at the bottom, and then this drone will just fly up as high as possible and send out the rockets, or missiles, or whatever you want to call them. And they w will be controlled by us using a directional sensor with the cursor controls. So to begin with, once again, I'm just going to make this stable, so I'll just skip ahead since we've seen this literally in the last video. And now it looks like a little droid. Ah. Just want to make sure this works. Okay, we begin. I'm pressing nothing. And, well, that was a bit more impactful. But the idea is I'm going to have something on top there. So we essentially anchor to the bottom of the Nimbatus. No, not retry mission. I'm just going to die again. Nope. Stop. Good. <laughs> okay, let's continue with that then. Essentially, just stuff like this will most likely work just to make sure we can survive it, but that's later on anyway. Although, honestly, there's not much more we really need. Just a couple of control sections for how to release the factory, and then that's pretty much it. Okay, good. Let's continue. Really basic test with the rocket activating far too early. And yeah, there we are. Okay, I will discuss what I've just done in just a second, but that's the basic premise. And then, but okay, that's not right. Hello. Oh, because I've set up the camera control along with the decouple on the same controller. Yeah, my fault. Anyway, I can make them do that. So <laughs> that was just me being stupid. Let's do that again. So, okay. Then we kill this, there we are, all nice and dead. So now we go back to this, we wait until we're ready, send out the new drone, and once again we are in control of it. Okay, nice and simple. Hello, friend! Oh, it, it did destroy some stuff. Cool. Oh, do you need energy to... No, you don't need energy to produce new drones, and I just detonated it instantly because I was spamming buttons. So, what was going on there then? And I've made it a little bit smaller. At least it looks a little bit neater. So, unlike the drone on the top, we have the directional sensor going off the cursor, meaning that when I'm tilting to the right, it's pressing R, when I'm tilting to the left, it's pressing T, and then we have these corresponding. But then, unlike the last drone build we had when we were making little spinners, we have a camera tracker set to left control, meaning that as soon as I press the space button, which also releases and creates a new drone, we instantly toggle that into the new rocket itself. But we just have to make sure to, to set our camera back to the main drone before we do that, otherwise we're double pressing control and then I don't think that will work. Although then all we have to do is press space again. It's a pretty simple system. Just wait until the drone is dead before spawning a new one. Also, I need to call this drone and this rocket. Otherwise, we're going to get confused like that every single time. Now, one thing I'm tempted to do is to add something like drills to this. The reason is we have more energy than we need. And it wouldn't be difficult just to go, Oh, look, we have a drill now. In fact, we have two and then just set them up with everything else, so it's all set up with only one switch. It's a really simple system, which is what we're going with at the moment. As we continue, I do want to make things which are a little bit more complex, but for now, simplicity is the key. Although now these thrusters are totally in the wrong place, since the front is going to be so weighted, so I need to mess those up a little bit. I mean, that would work, but that looks terrible. Uh, let me just rearrange this a bit. 
I just realized that half of those problems weren't even problems because once you kill your drone, you automatically go back to the main drone anyway. I'm not pressing anything, and we're back. And now, as soon as it's ready to go again, we should be able to send out the second rocket. Rocket! It's a rocket! The main body is the drone, okay? Okay. It's difficult to see when it's ready. There we go. And then manual controls. Father! I've realized I've made this far too big. It's gone from being a missile to just being a really explosive sort of excavator. Still cool, though. Okay, let's give it a test. Let's give this a test, and let's see how functional it actually is. Nice and easy to control. Okay, let's send it in. So I've decided to just sort of embrace the madness. We're a full-on excavator right now. Ow. Hello. Ooh, hello, egg. Well, first of all, though, I want to see if this works. Excuse me, guys. I'm testing things here. I mean, we could just detonate right now and instantly win. There we go. Oh, hello. Ow, ow, ow. You're actually chasing me. That's new. Was that actually chasing me or was that just really bad luck? Really? You're not ready yet? There you are. Oh my god! Ow! My spleen. Why are you such an irritating creature? It's not like I'm trying to kill your children. Oh. Yeah, out drills. Out. Not out enough. Ow, but st ow, ill. Hello, egg. I am a bomb. Please don't kill the little drone. I think I've decided we're going to turn it back into just a weapon. So ignore the drills and everything else. We're going to be editing this into a different version. In fact, what I'm going to do is save this though, because I do kind of like how that looks, and then duplicate it. There we go. And now the new one. Let's get rid of most of this stuff. Let's just go back to basics. It's just there to bring TNT death to our friends. Well, I mean, not really friends, but you get the point. Okay, this time an actual missile variant. Let's see how this works out. Much faster, and number one, instantly down. Now we wait for the recharge. Now what we could do, we set up multiple factories, each with different switches, and each with different buttons to release them, that way we wouldn't have to wait. It's not like it's a long wait time, it's just, it could be done faster. So that's what I'm definitely going to do after this. Oh, hello! Bad, 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 bad. Everyone dies. My instinct was just, let's explode! Ignoring the big bad world serpent, this is going incredibly well. Now what we could do is actually turn this into a fighter. It wouldn't be difficult. Just add weapons to the front and take away the TNT. That way as soon as one dies, we just keep on respawning them. Essentially giving us unlimited lives on the planet. Hello. Ooh, can we get two at once? Let's find out. Oh, can we get three at once? Okay, it's going to be really greedy. Lovely. Hello. You know, I've only just realized on the map it actually shows where the eggs are. That didn't used to be a thing. I'm certain of it. Is that showing where the eggs are? Um, no, it can't be because there's... Eggs right there. Oh, is it our death points, maybe? Is that where I've lost the drone before? It could be what's left over. Maybe it is. If that stays there... Okay, looks like that may be the case. Let's just test that. Yep, it is. Cool. Hello. There we are. Hello there. I've got one more idea I want to test out after I do this. Well, actually, I have two more ideas. One of them is a bit more major than the other. Okay, we win either way. Ta-da! Aren't we proud? Let's go over here. Destroy transmitter. That's fine as well. So, once again, going to duplicate the drone. And with this one, it's quite a simple change, actually. Remove you, remove you, remove you, remove you. Then what I would like are these lovely madoodles. Where are you? I believe you're in... 
Are those incensors? Oh no, of course you're in defense, aren't you? There we are. Heaters! Lovely, lovely heaters. Radius, strength, and the same key as before. This way, this becomes just pure fire. And this will burn anything nearby, including eggs, transmitters, blah blah blah, doing damage over time and setting them on fire as well. This can then be refitted to also... Oh, in fact, it... not only can it be refitted, we could do it right now. We could, on my other mouse button, do this. Once again, pure strength. So cold, heat. Cold. So not only will this save us and make this multiple use, it also means if we have a mission to freeze something, we just send this thing in. Although it does need a bit more battery power since that is quite battery intensive. So let's just shove a couple of those here and a couple of those there. Although that does mean our explosive things are now the closest to the heat source, but still. There we are, and then heal ourselves and freeze. Fantastic. That is going to be so much better than I expected and so much easier than I expected. It's a lovely combo. Let's find that transmitter. Oh, and freeze it to death. Or burn it to death. Or both. Both on at once, nothing really happens. The ice slightly wins. Oh, hello. That's the defenders you normally see around the transmitter. There it is. So now all we need to do is just rest here. It's already on fire. It will probably die in time. Apparently, I crashed into the ceiling. Well, it will. It actually won, so... So let's see about its multiple use then. So heating up, heating up. Come on, heat up the nest faster! Okay, freeze yourself. Nope, you froze that too fast. Okay, this is going to take some getting used to, and maybe I need some better controls than the drone. But there you go, technically I saved myself, and then... Heating up again, although we don't have the turn controls anymore. Still, the nest is on fire, and we'll eventually die. So things I need to do then. Make sure... The drone can survive that initial crash. Maybe that would be a good thing, Lathrix. In fact, what we could just do is weaken these. That would not be difficult. Or have a sensor which turns off the bloody thrusters. That would be a nice one, wouldn't it? Just a simple distance sensor. That's all we need. In fact, we have two of them doing the exact same thing. Deactivation of an activate key. So all we need then is a knock gate. Just move these up a little bit. There we are. So add a quick knock gate, because this is the easiest way I can think about doing this. So let's put this as input keypad one. Input keypad one. What are these on? These are on alpha three. Well now. Alpha three, keypad one. Alpha three. Yes, that should work now then, right? Well, if this button gets changed. Made a few minor changes to the drone, and let's see if this works, first of all. Yep, slowed down enough, and it didn't die. Excellent. So the minor changes are slightly better turning, and we can now move backwards. So in theory, we find an enemy, like you. Set ourselves to full burn mode. Wait until the enemy is on fire. Wait until the enemy is on fire. And then back off and cool ourselves down before we die. The enemy is still on fire and taking damage. Lovely. In theory it works. Definitely not the most efficient way of doing things. But you know what? It's fun. And if all else fails, we can just act like a bomb. So this is the next test. I figured out this when I was watching the last video. When I was editing it down. When it comes to these drones. Ta-da! You'll see something interesting when it comes to the order their batteries deplete. It's always the same order. So as long as they're duplicates of each other, they will always remove their batteries in the exact same order. So there we go. And I believe this goes on each time we create new ones. Fantastic. This means something very interesting. We can time it so when they are completely out of batteries by simply using the last battery to go down, we could make them detonate. So they are essentially mines, they're timed mines. Now of course you could do that anyway by just using a timer, but this way it's always sensitive to how much power we have left. So with all of these I've just set up, so battery empty is now keypad 8. We go over to weapon, and of course we add ourselves some lovely TNT. I uh, don't really know where I'd put this on this thing. Sure, let's put it there for now. 
and each of you keypad out. Which means once these things run out of energy completely, they should in theory go boom. Meaning that we don't have loads of these just wandering around causing lag like before. And also, if anything's close enough, well, say goodbye to them. Now the problem is this does make the drone far more vulnerable. Even putting it on the inside, explosives can very easily hit these things. Now we just need to wait. Come on. Run out of battery already. Please. I know you do. Eventually. And now... Lovely. Admittedly, they do, they do destroy each other since they're so close. But still, really, really cool. Final thing. This. We could just cut out the middleman. And boom! You know for a fact now in the next episode we're making a proper bomber. We could seed the entire planet and then explode everything. And to make it even better, we could make it automatic. We could make a drone. Can you add a factory to a factory? Question. Oh my god, you can. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. And then you just put this on a timer so it keeps on doing it all by itself. Could you put a factory on a factory? Could you put a factory on a factory on a factory on a factory? Could you put a factory on a factory on a factory on a factory? No, it doesn't seem like they themselves. Wait, are they duplicating? Yep, yeah, they are. Dupl they are definitely duplicating factories, and they have different times as well because each of them needs to make a factory now. Oh, I think we just broke the game. I love explosives. Oh my god, that completely <laughs> blue screen. That was weird. Okay, so with that, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, that's weird, shows that Nimbatus is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you so, so much for watching, and goodbye. Apparently that's a little bit too compact and they all just detonated anyway. There is apparently too much explosives. Well, too many explosives. Yeah, they're all kind of too close to each other. Okay, thank you for watching. Next video is going to be stupid. <laughs>